Just got back from Alabama down there at the PAA stop on Neely Henry Lake. That's the second stop on the tour. And I finally had myself a top five this year. Uh, been, been beating around it, been getting close, but I was finally able to finish third in the tournament. And I, I lost the tournament by less than a pound. And it was really a little bit frustrating because on the, on the second day, I had a, uh, about a one pound spot that I didn't hook wrong. It just, just randomly died. The water temperatures were pretty hot. And I was, able, I was not able to cull that fish. And it ended up costing me a little over a pound. And that's, that's the fish right there that would have, you know, would, that swing right there would have won the tournament for me. So that, that kind of hurt a little bit. Oh, dirty. And on day two and three, I had a cameraman follow me. And, you know, I was a little apprehensive about showing him all the little details about Neely Henry because that's a lake we'll probably go back to. But, you know, in, in the end, I said, uh, should I let him watch or no? And then, and then I said, I might as well, might as well. Let the boy watch. He needs to learn the way I learned from my father. Fred Rambanis won the tournament. I was really happy for him. Fred's a good dude, and uh, he had a real good tournament. Uh, he actually lost some big fish on the, on the second day. He thought it was going to cost him the event, but he ended up, up winning. So congratulations to Fred. Paul Elias finished second. Uh, good job, Paul. But I tell you, I had three main baits that were working for me down there. Uh, one of them was the, the Spro Fat John. This thing, this thing absolutely throttled him. I caught a bunch of fish on it, especially early when there was still some, some lower light conditions. And, you know, I, so I had a couple big spots, big two and a half, three pound spots. When they would hit that thing, man, they would, uh, they'd really kind of, you know, cause your arm to kind of pull out a little bit. Oh my arm, it's broken. Good Lord. Uh, so it was, it, was a, it was a really good bait for me. That was the, the main bait. I caught, uh, caught some, some good fish on, on a new, the new bait we've got coming out prototype won't get a too good of a look at that just yet and then I'd say the uh, the bread and butter the the money winner was this uh, the missile craw Texas rigged like this fished it around a lot of shallow uh, grass and uh, shallow wood shallow docks stuff like that that Neely Henry is a shallow river type of a lake and this thing right here it had a had a big you know a lot of darting action was using a, a 3 aught gamakatsu heavy cover worm hook that hook was the deal I don't. I didn't lose a single fish on this. On this, and I was fishing on 20-pound vicious Pro Elite fluorocarbon. Uh, that that line is supple enough. You can still uh, skip the bait well, and you can make real accurate cast. And when I was setting the hook, you know, it was it was meat city. I was getting uh, getting this fish right in the boat. So that was that was the real bread and butter. And these the the other two baits were uh, were definitely putting putting good fish in the live well uh, as well. So uh, ended up having uh, having a good event. We got one more event to go. Before, uh, before the uh, Texas Toyota Bass Classic. Uh, if I finish in the top 15 in the points, I'll be going to that event down there at Lake Conroe in, uh, in late September. So uh, we've got that one, one event in Muskogee. Hopefully uh, things will go well there and I'll be able to qualify for that TTBC and it'll be another good year on the PAA Tour.